Good morning, good morning, good people of this world. Thank you so much for tuning in to Ash Said It Daily. Yes. Because Ash Said It Daily. And daily is what Ash said. About it. Yeah. <laughs> Ash Said It Daily. Yes. We are on iHeart Radio. We are on iTunes. We are on Google Play. Tune in app. Stitcher. Yeah. The takeover is real. It was that it has come from and where it is going. So I thank you guys so very much for tuning in to your girl, for downloading my podcast episodes, you know, I'm trying to get these little mini-sodes every day and get a little motivation, you know what I'm saying, a little empowerment as we push forward to the future, as we push forward. So this morning, this has been on my heart for last couple of hours just as things transpire and I do my best not to get disappointed by people anymore because people are going to be people they're going to do what they do and the more that you can not put all of your your eggs in the same basket about people the more that you won't be disappointed at the end of the day when they do disappoint you, when they let you down. And no matter how much that you do, how you give from the heart, how you (laughs) bend over backwards to help someone that needs aid, one of the worst feelings is having that person to be so very ungrateful. Ungrateful. I know that you guys have experienced it because I've experienced it more time than I care to remember. More time than I care to recall. And it just continues to just be. And it's just like, the more... Because me, I'm one person, and I learned this from my mama. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it 110%. I'm not going to do it half-ass. I'm not, there's no way that I'm going to do it half-ass because I wasn't brought up that way. If you do something, you do it all the way. You do it with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole soul. You just do it. And <laughs> I guess a lot of times, I can only talk about myself. I can't talk about everybody else, but for, but for myself, I expect that same respect back so when it's not given it's like oh you know (laughs) oh my gosh I can't believe that they just you know I did all this stuff for them and then they didn't even give me as much as a thank you and don't expect things from people that way you won't get disappointed so don't expect a thank you don't expect for people to show their gratitude because some people just don't either they don't know they've never learned or they're just ungrateful souls that's just the reality of it that's just the reality of it it's crazy ridiculous but it's the way the cookie crumbles that's the way the cookie crumbles so I like I said I am one of those people that just does my best with everything and I treat people well because I want to be treated well so even though I'm not necessarily oh my gosh so disappointed in this person because they didn't say thank you just because I may not necessarily be disappointed it's still to an extent it still kind of affects me because I'm like wow I can do all these things and help this person and, and build their company build their brand or whatever the case is and they didn't even say like hey thanks I appreciate you wow you didn't have to do that Ah, thank you you know some kind of gratitude but some people are just ungrateful let's talk about why they're ungrateful they may be ungrateful because maybe they were never taught to turn and say thank you to turn and show gratitude for what people do for them that may be one of the reasons some parents don't teach their kids those values and that's just a fact it's not necessarily their fault I blame the parents my grandmother always said when you see a child in public acting up 
You don't blame the child, you blame the parent. They're the one that's supposed to be teaching this child how to, how to live. So, like I said, some people are just ungrateful. Maybe they weren't taught to be grateful. Maybe they just have a scheming and calculating spirit about them. And maybe they feel entitled. Oh, you should do this for me because I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I'm the most beautiful. I'm the most talented. I'm everything in the world. You should totally just be happy that you're able to help me and to, to aid in my success. You should be able to sleep good at night. No, it's not that serious for me. I can only speak for myself. <laughs> Well, like I said, I can only speak for myself. At the end of the day, people have to realize life is short. And you never know who you're going to need. You shouldn't burn bridges. And <laughs> just like yesterday, People in glass houses should never throw stones, all right? And what that means is no one's perfect. No one's life is perfect. No one has done the best stuff in life. No one's perfect. No one has lived without flaw in some aspect. No one. I don't care who you are or who you try to tell people that you are. Everyone's got issues. Everyone's got flaws. Everyone. So... You will never be able to convince me that you don't have problems, you don't have issues, that everything is just going perfect in your life because that's the way that the universe uh, curve things for you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Because I don't believe that one bit. One bit. So, it's quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. Quite interesting indeed. I don't know. People are just really sick. And there's a lot of mental illness going on. A lot of undiagnosed mental illness. And some people just, for whatever reason, don't get it. They don't think that they're ill. They don't think that they're sick. But there are some really sick people out there. And unfortunately, in the last three years, I've encountered a lot of them <laughs> here on earth in Atlanta, Georgia. I've encountered a lot of those sick-minded individuals. And I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I'm not going to retaliate. But it will be documented. It will be documented. That's all I can tell you. It will be documented. So I love the fact that people give me material. You give me material, you give me content, so thank you for that. Because, honestly, I would never in a million years be able to create these stories. These stories that people make up about me. These stories that people say, these lies that people create. I, I'm a creative person. All day, every day. But there's some things that I just would never be able to wrap my head around. <laughs> there's just some stuff that I just would never be able to to do. Well, for one, I have a conscience. You know, I, I belong to the most high. And I care about people. That's probably one of the first things is I actually care. Because I know that with somebody in a situation, I could have easily been just as disenfranchised as that person. Easily. But through God's grace and mercy over my life, I know that I was saved. I know I was protected from a lot of things. A lot of things. I know that God doesn't make mistakes, and sometimes you may not like what the answer is, but the answer that God gives you, and the best thing that you can do is move forward, move forward, um, but 
but yeah, but there are just some ungrateful people out there and I guess I just really wanted to say don't allow those people to sour your day, your life, your experience. Some people are ungrateful and entitled and selfish and self-centered and they'll always be that way. They will always be that way. Nothing will ever change them. They will always be that individual. And maybe that's the way that the universe wants it. Maybe that's the way that it's supposed to be. Don't make it your problem. Now, if people want to change, they've got to take steps toward change. And it's not your responsibility to handle their change. It's not. Sometimes I will say that I, I felt that I needed to help this person and oh they're just so down on their luck if I jump in and help them it's going to make a difference in their life it's going to inspire them it's going to help them to change their life and make better decisions for their future no what I did was I wasted time y'all and I don't like to waste time I just don't like to waste time no 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 but what it taught me is go by my gut instinct that spirit of discernment that tells you this person is on some bullcrap. This person is not going to change. This person is using you. So nowadays when I hear those inner voices and I look at the situations, I'm able to make a very educated, educated decision on whether or not I'm going to work with that person, whether or not we're going to do things together, whether or not I'm going to help them, because I would, I would say a good goblet of people that I have attempted to help in the last couple of years were ungrateful, undeserving, self-centered um, individuals. And I thought that if I was to pour some love on top of them, encourage them, empower their gifts, help them to push forward, that would make a difference in their life and they wouldn't be selfish anymore. They'd see the air other ways. That ain't what happened, y'all. That ain't what happened. My intention was good and was out there. But the end result was it made them worse. It made them more ungrateful. It made them more self-centered. It fed into their disease. And when I say disease, I mean their, their need to be important. It fed into that rather than to aid them and help them become a better person and more appreciative of people. It fed their need That's just the way that life goes sometimes. What I've learned, I just let things go now. I'm not even going to stress it. There was a point where I was sitting up taking groceries out of my own refrigerator, out of my pantry. I was going through and pulling clothes because somebody's house was burnt down and they needed clothing and they needed food for their kids. And I brought this stuff to this person. And they had the nerve to tell me, oh, well, this is not really my style. What? And it really hurt. I didn't show as much as it hurt me for them to say that to me. But I'm like, okay, I brought food. I brought clothes for your family. Just bare essential stuff that I knew that my family wasn't going to eat. And stuff that I know that, you know, she had a bunch of kids, so I, stuff that I know that the kids would more than likely eat or whatever. And for her to say that to me, that hurt because if I was in her situation and someone did that for me, I would be more than thankful. You have nothing, you have less than nothing. And for you to. To, to be picky. What did my mom always told me, beggars ain't choosers. 
And you are in a begging ass situation right there. Beggars ain't choosers. If you begging for something, you don't get to choose what the heck you get. You say thank you and you move on. Until you can do better for yourself, yeah, you say thank you and until you, you can move on. But some people will never learn. Maturity doesn't even come with age, y'all. Because these people that I'm talking about, these are people in their 40s. All right, they should know better. They should know better. But they don't. So they miss out on that track. They don't. But um, don't let these people affect your happiness. Don't let these people affect your joy. Don't let these people take from you. All right? Don't let their ungrateful spirit rub off on you. Don't let their ungrateful spirit deter you from your dream and from your goals. Don't let their spirit take anything away from what you're doing. Because some people are just emotional vampires. They will take from you. They may be aware of it. They may not be aware of it. Either way, I would say don't allow for people to take over you. Take over your spirit to, to influence you in any way, any realm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, that's my little tidbit for the day. I don't know if I'm going to holler back at y'all later on because we got 10 million things going on. I got to pick up stuff at the P.O. Box. Yeah, yeah, baby, babies. You know, that's how we do it. That's how we get things done. I love and appreciate you guys. We got a storm coming to GA. Yes, it is looking dark and nasty out. I'm so glad I'm not going to the park. We are headed to the gym. Yeah. That's how we going ride around and get it. Right around and getting it. All right, ashsetit.com, ashsetit.com. We got the free ebook that's up there, Social Media 101. If you are new to social media, this is an introductory ebook that we are offering, putting it out there. And it's just some basic tips. And it's a short book, short read. It It's barely what? It, it's only a couple pages long. All right. But it's going to be very helpful to you. It's going to open up your eyes to different things. If you're not familiar with social media, you need this ebook. All right. So go to ashsetit.com right now. And the link is up there ebook. Oh, no. The link is up there freebies. Yeah. So go to freebies and you can download the ebook instantly onto any one of your devices. And I'm going to see y'all out there. And anyone to tell you that you can do what you want to do, you turn to look them in the face and say, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. Because that's what we're doing is we're doing this for the history books. We're not doing this to be cute. We're not doing this for social media, celebrity or whatever. I don't care about that stuff. What I care about is people following through with their dreams. I've seen so many people, too many people waste their dreams, waste their talents, waste their gifts. So I want to hear about your dreams. I want to hear about your talents. I want to hear about your goals and your gifts. Info at ashsetit.com. Info at ashsetit.com. Go and hit me up right now. Let me know what you're doing, how you're changing the way of the world, and what you're doing to make a difference in your future. So, I love y'all to pieces. I love you. Thank you for downloading me. Bulgaria, I see you. Wow. Ash said it is in Bulgaria, y'all. They downloading your girl in Bulgaria. I think that's so cool. That is so cute. So, I love you guys to pieces. Keep doing what you do. You want to book your girl? Ashsetit.com.